So in this video, we are going to learn how to create HTML node in OneNote when a new record is added in Airtable. Now suppose guys, you and your team members are using Airtable to enter some important details over there. And you want that with all the same details, a OneNote node should be created in your OneNote account. Now guys, the manual process of getting the details from Airtable and creating a node in OneNote can be very much repetitive and time consuming. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can automate this. So using this automation, whenever a new record will be created in Airtable, whenever a new details, a new row or new record is added in Airtable, automatically with the same record, with the same details, a node will be created in one node. So how you can set up this automation? To know this, you have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, here we are on my Airtable database. So in my Airtable account, I have created this table. In this table, I'm adding the title of the note which I want to add in one note and also I'm adding the description, the complete note over here. So here guys, with the proper formatting, how we are adding that note in a table, with the exact same formatting as well, we want to create a new note in our one note account. And to do this, we have to connect our a table account with one notes. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform named as Pavli Connect to do so. So here we are on Pavli Connect's dashboard. And to reach this dashboard, you will get a free sign up link of Pavli Connect in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can create your free Pavli Connect account in just two minutes. Now, after reaching to this dashboard, just click on create workflow and give this workflow a name. For example, I would like to name my workflow as a table to one note. And then just click on create. Now you can see that our workflow is open over here. And in this workflow, we have two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's begin with our trigger window. So the idea here is first, we are going to connect our Airtable account with Pavli Connect in the trigger window so that every time we are going to add some new row, some new record or some details of a new note in Airtable, automatically that data should be captured inside Pavli Connect. Then after that, using Pavli Connect, we are going to change that plain text into an HTML format, which HTML tags, and then we are going to send the same details to one note to create a new note over there from this same Airtable details. So how it is done? Let's see. Now here in trigger window and choose app, search for Airtable. Just select it. And after that, in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new record. After selecting a trigger event, click on connect and select add new connection. Now, here, guys, we have to connect our Airtable account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, we have to enter the API token of our Airtable account. So here you must be thinking how you can get this API token. So to get it, here you can see the help text, the step-by-step -step guide is given over here to create an API token in your Airtable account. So to do this, just go to your Airtable account and on the right top corner, here you can see this accounts option. Click on it and go to developers hub from the dropdown. After coming to this developers hub page, here you can see we have this page of personal access token. Click on create new token and give this token a name. For example, I'll name it as OneNote. Then after naming it, the next thing it asks us is the scope. And here I just click on this add a scope button and one by one, we have to select all the scopes from the dropdown. So just select all of the scopes from here. And you can see the exact same guide, exact same step by step instruction in the help text below in the public connect connection window over here as well. After adding all the scopes here, we have to select the base as well that in your Airtable account, it is most likely possible that you may have created multiple bases for multiple data. And out of all of them, the access of which base or which workspace you want to give to Pavli Connect. So here I want to give the access of all the workspaces. So I'll just select this and then just click on create token. Now, when we click on create token, here you can see that our token, the API token in Airtable has been generated. Just copy this token from here, go to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after pasting this token, just click on save. And here after clicking on save, we can see that our Airtable account will get connected with Pavli Connect. After making this connection, it is asking us for the base. 
And in the drop down below, here you can see because we have connected or we have selected all the workspaces over here while creating this token, that is why you can see a list of all the bases which you have created in Airtable can be seen over here in this drop down. So, out of all of these, the base in which we are working today is named as Project Data. Let me show you. So, this is the Airtable base named as Project Data. So from this drop down in Pavli Connect, we are going to select the same bits from which we want to get the new nodes details. After selecting the base, it is asking us to select the table. So from this drop down here, you can see a list of all the tables which I have created in this base can be seen over here. Out of all of these table, the table in named as nodes, this is the table in which I am adding the details of a new node which I want to create in one node. So here from the drop down, select that table as well. And then it is asking us trigger field. So the help text below trigger field says create a field in your table schema with the field name created and the field type created time. So it is asking us to create a field name as created in our A table database and the field type should be created time. So here from the drop down here, you can see that this is the name of the field and created time, this is the time, this is a field type. So here it is because this is necessary because what we have to do, whenever we are going to add the details of a new record or a new note in this A table database, automatically this created field will be populated. It will be created. It will add the details of the date and time, the exact date and time when we have created this note. And then guys, because we have basically added it on that event, whenever this date and time is created, a table will trigger this automation and send the same data to Pavli Connect. So that is why we have selected trigger field over here. We have to create this trigger field named as created and we have selected that same field over here. After this, what we have to do, we just have to click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that in response, you can see the details of the very first record after the headers or the most recent, most latest record which we have created in Airtable can be seen over here. Here you can see the same title of the note which we have given in Airtable. Then you can see the same description in the same format as well. After this here you can see the same field created. We have created a field named as this and here you can see the response for the same field over here. This means the details of a new note from Airtable has been successfully received inside Public Connect means the step one of setting up this automation is completed. We have the title of the note, we had the complete description or the details of the note, and also we have the date and time that at what date and time this note was created. Now after this, what we have to do, we have to basically convert this notes data or notes response from simple format to the HTML format so that we can have the HTML tags as well in this text. And to do this, we are going to use a feature of Public Connect that is called text formatter. So just scroll down, come to our action window and here in choose app, search for text formatter. Just select it. After selecting text formatter by Pabli, here in action event from the drop down, select the action event as text basic formatting. Click on connect. And then after clicking on connect, the first thing it asks us is the string. What is the string? What is the response or what is the data, the text to which we want to convert into HTML format? So we want to convert this response of notes or the description of notes which we have received from a table in trigger response. So we have to map this same response of notes over here in the string field. And guys, the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field of string and in the drop down below, here you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from a table of a new record. And out of all of these responses, select this response of field note and it will be mapped over here. After mapping the string here in transformer from the drop down, we have to select the transformer as markdown to HTML. Just select this transformer over here and click on save and send test request. Now after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received the response. And in this response, you can see this exact same text, exact same response or the node description which we have received from a table is been converted into HTML format. So here we have added some HTML tags according to formatting into the same text over here, the same string over here. So guys, the step two of setting up this automation is also completed. We have basically converted the normal text which we have received from Airtable, the normal description or the normal structure into an HTML format over here. 
After this, what we have to do, we have to send these same details to OneNote so that using these details, we can create a no new note over there in our OneNote account. And to do this, just scroll down, click on this add action step button. And here in choose app, search for OneNote. Just select it. And then in action event from the drop down, select the action event as create HTML note in section. Just select it. Click on connect and select add new connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our OneNote account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, click on this connect with OneNote button. And because we have already logged in in our OneNote account in our browser, Pabli Connect has detected the same account and it is asking us for the authorization permission. Click on yes and we will see our Pabli Connect account will get connected with our OneNote account. And the connection is done. Now after making this connection, the first thing it asks us is the notebook. That in your OneNote account, it is most likely possible that you might have created multiple notebooks according to your requirement. So here in my OneNote account, I have multiple notebooks and out of all of this, in which notebook we want to create a new note. So I want to create a new note in Ashi's notebook, this notebook particularly over here. So here guys, what we are going to do, we are going to select that same notebook over here in this notebook section from the drop down. So in drop down, you can see all the notebooks and select the notebook in which you want to create the new note. After selecting the notebook, it is asking us for the section. So in this particular notebook, right now I have created only one section named as quick notes. So I'm going to select the new notes in this particular section named as quick notes. Then it is asking us the title. So here guys, we have to enter the title of the note over here. So what is the title of the new note which we are creating? So we have entered the title of the note in our Airtable database and with the same title, we want to create a note in OneNotes. So here guys, what we have to do, we will just click on this field and from the drop down from Airtable responses, we are going to map the same response of title over here. So whatever title of a new note we are going to enter in Airtable, with the same title, a new note will be created in OneNote. Then it is asking us for the content. So here we have to enter the content of the new note which we want to create. So here guys, from the text format our responses, we have received the content of the note in HTML format. So here we are going to map that same content over here in this content section. Just click here. And from the drop down from text format our responses, select the response of content and map it. Now here guys, in this video, we have taken the text from a table into a simpler format. And then using text formatter, we have converted or added some HTML tags in that. But instead of this, what you can do, you can actually enter the complete notes content into your Airtable database into the HTML format and directly map that same response over here in this content section into the same HTML format. After content, it is asking us date and time. So here we have to enter the date and time of the creation of the note. So here we will just click here. And from Airtable, we have also received the date and time of creation or entering that record in Airtable. Just select that date and time over here and map it. And after mapping all of these details, just click on save and send test request. Now, when we click on save and send test request, here you can see that we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the data which we have mapped over here, using these same details, a new note is created in OneNote. So let's check it. We will go to our OneNote account and refresh our page once. And yes, guys, here you can see that the exact same note with the same details. We have the title of the note as test note, which we have entered into our Airtable database. And here you can see the same note in the same format over here, which we have added in Airtable. So the exact same note has been created in our OneNote account with the same details. So this means, guys, the automation workflow which we have created in this video is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new record will be added with some new note details in a table, automatically with the same details, a new note will be created in one note with the same formatting in HTML format. So now guys, after setting up this automation, let's test this automation workflow once in real time. So we are just going to create the details of a new note over here in a table. So let's add a title of our note as real time test. And let's add a description such as hello team. We are testing this automation in real time. Thank you. 
So here guys, you can see that just now we have added a new text over here, a new node details over here in our Airtable database. And we will see as we add these details automatically within 10 minutes, a new node with the same details in HTML format with the same formatting over here will be created in one node. So let's wait for 10 minutes over here. And it usually takes 10 minutes because the connection between Babli Connect and Airtable Trigger is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, Pabli Connect will check for new data or new record in Airtable every 10 minutes. So let's wait for a few minutes over here. Okay, so we have successfully waited for a few minutes. Now let's refresh our OneNotes page once. And yes guys, here you can see that just now a new note is created in OneNote. The title of the note is Real Time Test, the same title which we have entered in Airtable. And here you can see the same description, same details over here. Hello team, we are testing this automation in real time. Thank you. Now here guys, you can see that the automation workflow which we have created using Pabli Connect is working perfectly fine. And using this automation, whenever a new record will be created in Airtable, automatically with the same record details, a new node can be created in one node. So not just these applications guys, you can connect plenty of other applications using Pabli Connect. And one more important thing. You will find the clone link of this exact same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this workflow for free. Also, let me tell you, Pavli Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Pavli Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can post them on forum.pavli.com. So if this video was helpful to you, you can obviously like this video, comment down to your suggestion and don't forget to share it with others. So guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.